We visited Australia for the Sydney Olympics, but we didn't actually attend the Olympics. It was coincidental with our schedule. But it was so wonderful as we arrived into Australia, into Sydney specifically, and drove down the road near the Olympic Stadium. Even with our windows rolled up, we could hear the thrill of people yelling, Aussie, 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 oi, oi, oi. It was amazing and thrilling to be there during that, that changing time in this beautiful country. I'll never forget the time when I woke up in the morning and my husband said, oh, guess what, you're going to see parrots. And I went, what, parrots? No, we're not going to the zoo. And he said, no, look outside your front window. Just imagine this excitement and surprise when I opened the window and I saw dozens of beautifully colored birds called lorikeets just outside my window. And then overhead, I looked up and there were these cockatoos. They were called silver-crested cockatoos flying wild. I had never seen anything as spectacular as that outside of a zoo or a pet store before. And to think, these animals are right outside, flying wild and free. Later on, when we drove out to the family reunion, on the way, we saw kangaroos just hopping by. And we even saw this huge bird called an emu running down, racing with our car as we were heading down the road. Now, I had no idea that there would be this plethora of wildlife just two hours outside of Australia's largest city, but there it was. Now, of course, there are also some scary animals out there, and I'll talk about that a little later. Animals you need to kind of work, work around, um, but not to be too afraid of. So as you can see, I had an amazing time the first time I went to Australia, and when it was time for us to leave, I cried. I cried when I had to get back on that plane because I felt like I found home.